Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geeky Review channel and uh, today in this video we are going to learn how to safely unlock the bootloader of your Asus Zenfone 5 and safely lock it back. Well, uh, my Asus Zenfone is currently running the latest Lollipop uh, firmware or version that is 3.24.40.78. Well, let's answer a question. When do we need to unlock the bootloader of our phone? Well, if in case you are planning to install custom recovery and uh, install a custom ROM, only then you need to unlock your bootloader. Let's answer another question. When do we need to lock our bootloader? We need to lock our bootloader only when we are reverting back to a stock ROM from the custom ROM. Only then we need to lock our bootloader. Does uh, routing unlock your bootloader? Well, uh, most of the routing methods does not unlock your bootloader. And the routing method that I have shared in the description again does not unlock your bootloader. So the first step that we need to do is we need to download the unlock bootloader tool and the link for that has been offered to you in the description. So kindly download it. It's a zip file. And uh, once you unzip and open it, this is how it's going to look. So it's a one click uh, tool guys. So I would suggest you guys to have a rooted phone for this uh, tutorial. So if in case you haven't rooted your phone yet, the link to root your phone is in the description and it's one of the best way to root your Asus and phone 5. So root your phone and get back to this video. Well now we need to take our phone and uh, we need to activate developer option. Well I've already done that but I'll show it to you if in case you're doing it for the first time. So we need to go to settings and we need to click on about, click on software information and you need to click on build number seven times and once you do that you need to go back and uh, you will see this developer option which was not here before. So click on developer option and uh, you need to activate USB debugging. So kindly do that. So after activating USB debugging we just need to shut down the phone and uh, we need to get the phone to boot mode. So let's do that. So once the phone is off all we need to do is we need to press the power button and the volume up button together. So let's do that. And once you feel a vibration and you see the ASUS logo, just uh, release your fingers. And now you are on boot mode. So the next thing would be to connect your phone to the laptop. So let's do that. So now let's connect the phone to the laptop. And once you have connected the phone, let's open the tool folder and let's click on unlock bootloader and uh, click on run. All you need to do is press enter or any key. So it's a one click method and uh, it takes roughly around two minutes for this entire process to take place and wait until your phone reboots on its own. So let me play some music till the procedure gets over.
and once your phone reboots you can unplug your phone from the laptop you can click on the tool and press any key and the tool will close on its own and if we have a close look guys we can relock the bootloader just in one click and uh, we can even unlock the bootloader and install TWRP recovery in one click so if you want to do that you can do it I'll show it to you in another video well uh, a big thanks to the developer devil boy NV an XDA developer so now I'll uh, take you to the phone and we'll see if the phone freezes or if the camera doesn't turn on so after unlocking the bootloader if we have a look at the phone there is no freeze screen freeze or no issue whatsoever and if we have a look at the camera the camera works absolutely fine so the procedure to lock your bootloader is the same you need to get your phone to the droid boot mode you need to click on lock bootloader on the tool and you will have your bootloader locked and uh, one more quick tip for you guys if in case you are planning to revert back from a custom rom to a stock rom then after locking your bootloader you can follow my video on how to unbreak your phone and if you follow the procedure you will be able to revert back to a stock rom so that's it from me guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel this is kevin signing off from geeky review